Welcome to floor 5 of episode 3, and straight away we have a secret on the left hand side here. Now there's two paths to choose from at the beginning of this level. We're going to go the right path once we've grabbed that treasure. This leads to a nano corridor and a single shoe stuff will wait to ambush us at the end of it. But as soon as we shoot him, you'll hear that all the other enemies in this starting area are alerted to us. So backtrack as quick as you can, because you don't want them running into unpredictable parts of the map. Now there's an officer, a shoe stuffle, and a couple guards. Watch out for this alcove here, they like to hide in that. There's the shoe stuffle. Once they're taken care of, grab the ammo, and you come to this large chamber here. Now there's three doors, one of them's locked. This leads to the main part of the level, and then on the left hand side here, there are some supplies. Again, two paths, we'll go right this time. Grab this treasure. And on the left path, you've got a wee guy hiding in uh, this alcove here. And then in this room, it's absolutely never enemy, so you want to hold this corner, let them come to you for a bit, until you thin them out, and then you can press into the room. And you'll find that, oh, one more, that it is filled with health and ammo. So you want to stock up, leave this area fully, uh, yeah, fully stocked on your ammo, and then head back to that large chamber. We'll go through the middle door here, and just like the previous level, there's a brick area in the middle, which is where we need to go, and a bunch of Roman guards. So we're going to take care of them. This door is the way in. Make sure that no guards head in that way. And then move around the edges. There's a single shoe scuffle. Other than that, it's just guards. And grab these chalices as well while you're going around. I think that should be all of them. And we're ready to move in. Now there's two guards in the starter room. Kill them as quick as you can. So you don't want them heading into these corner rooms. And waking up all these enemies. As soon as you go into one of them, all the enemies on the other side are alerted as well. Perhaps not, actually. Maybe I'm still on that. I thought I heard a guard going around. Maybe there is one. Uh, or an officer going around. Now, you've got four doors to choose from. These three all lead to the same area, and this one here leads to the way we actually need to go. Now, we'll go to the rightmost door, because it's a better angle to approach this next room from. I'm trying to go the other way just makes it a little bit more difficult. Grab the treasure, and then we can head back to this room. Go through this right door. Leave a bit of ammo there. Stuff at the end of the room, two guys on the left, and a bunch of more around this corner. Ambush, and the gold key. So now we have that, we can backtrack to that chamber. And we can head through the lock door. Now there's a sequence of three lock doors here, but they all require the gold key. But before you go through the second one, make sure you grab this secret. I think this is the second secret of the level. And that is filled with treasure and health. We'll come back to that health if we need it before we exit this level. Just up there. And then there's a bunch of boxes in this room. And one more through this door. But we took care of them without taking any damage. So that should be us done with floor 5 now. All going well. Under the par time, so they got an extra 15,000 there. Kills, secrets, and come on treasure. Good, 100% treasure as well. Got it right this time. I missed one the last take. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I will see you again tomorrow for floor six. We're already halfway through episode three.